the most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action live on EA TV. And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Brentford up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. And here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, they're going to play with a front two, which means they have to link up with each other as much as possible. If they do that well, they'll certainly pose a threat. It looks like a 5-3-2, really. It's a fine United move in the making. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. stop a decent looking attack Marcus Rashford and Brentford had it back now well there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer Stuart what do you think we'll see from him today well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Ben Mee. On to Mope. Jensen. Really good challenge. Lindelof Bruno Fernandes has it just wasn't going to get that ball away Rashford on to Fernandes timely intervention Mads Roos now. Christopher Ayer. Nathan Collins. Roos with it. Collins. On the ball, Jensen. Mads Roos Here's Nurgard. Roos have given him too much space oh breezing past him high quality defending Bruno Fernandes has it Casemiro Offside. <laughs> Roar Sled. Nathan Collins. On to me. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. You just can't really choose between them at the moment.
with a goal that would put them ahead. Superbly read and executed. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Janot. Ben Mee. Reguilon. On to me. Reguilon. Christian Nurgaard. Really getting stuck in. Lindelof. Lindelof now. And Rashford. Maguire. This is Varane. Marcus Rashford. More than decent this from United. on with that tackle Collins Roarslev with it now we have 20 minutes left in this game sense the threat is there strength and control a big part of his game Hello. Casemiro he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge Janert on the ball Jensen distributing it well Mopé must take the lead here and that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him Bruno Fernandes has it 10 minutes to go there Collins Christopher Ayer here's me Reguilon Certainly thinking about a winner. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Vitali Janet. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Marcus Rashford. There is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Reguilon. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. again here the first period of extra time and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now it's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes good work from Brentford to win the ball back Mikael Damsgaard on to me Reguilon
Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Casemiro, Scott McTominay, encouraging stuff from United, can he play it in, this could level it, oh a stellar piece of defending, opportunity still there, and it's in, the goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now. Again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at Ten Hag's face. Goal for Manchester United. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. question who will come out on top we're into the second period of extra time here of added time a minimum of one minute and it has all come down to this in the Champions League final a shootout to determine the winners and now it is all about the penalty shootout he had to score and he does can he get the better of the keeper and confidently converted. Job done from the spot. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And there it is, perfectly executed. Superbly done, how many players would try that? And the penalty converted here. Can he keep us cool? Clinical as always, in front of goal. In it goes. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. A Panenka penalty and a brilliant goal. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. Bottom corner, and he steps up to take his penalty. And it's gone in. Oh. 
Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he scores! Low and accurate, that penalty. Can he remain calm? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And he's beaten the keeper. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. So lethal in front of goal. today such a tight game that you have to feel sorry for the losers they were so close yet so far away